going to continue working with report speech. In this moment, we are going to see some changes that are very important when you report something. Let's start. Annie said, I live in Caracas. If you see here, this is that speech, what the person said. And then we are going to report it, what Annie said. Annie said, I live in Caracas. If you see these sentences, you see that the sentences is in present simple. So you have to be very careful. Present simple, when you report the sentences, you are going to change in past simple. Okay? Let's see. Annie said that she lived. So you are going to write the word in past simple. Right? It's very easy. Let's see the following example. Carlos said, I am drinking water. If you see here, Carlos, I am drinking water. This sentence is in present continuous. Right? Present continuous. When you report these sentences, you have to report it in past continuous. Right? Let's practice. I am drinking water. Carlos said that he, right? He was drinking water, right? And let's see another example here. Mary said, I can drive very fast. As you see, these sentences we are using a modal verb can. Mary said, I can drive fast. And how are you going to report it, these sentences? So you are going to use could, right? Could. Mary said that she could drive fast. This is the correct report. Remember, my dear students, some changes are needed when you report something. As you see here, you have to take into account a direct speech. If we see present, you're going to change in past simple. If we see with present continuous, you're going to use past continuous. And if it's a model verb can, you're going to use could. Okay. One eternity later. Reporting statements becomes an issue when we don't have tenses that are clear. That's why it's so important for us to review tenses and to review the verb list. Alright? Direct speech and indirect speech. Direct speech are the exact words that the people are saying. And the indirect speech is what we call the report. Let's take a look at these examples. Danny, I ate pasta for dinner. As you can see here, this tense is past simple because the verb is in the past simple form. So, I'm going to lag this sentence and this statement with the past simple. If I wanted to change this sentence into a report, there's some mental questions you should uh, ask yourself. And is, what did Danny say? As I said before, it's a mental question. There's no need for you to write it down. And whenever you are doing the report, you need to go like this. Well, what did Danny say? Well, he said, or Danny said, it's up to you. You can use Danny or you can do the substitution with that personal pronoun, okay? Danny said that he had, okay? Because past simple is going to change into past Perfect, okay? I ate pasta for dinner. Well, Danny said that he, he had eaten, he had eaten pasta for dinner. So that's going to be the change. Past simple is going to change to past perfect whenever you're trying to do the report, okay? There's another example here. Alice, I have never been to Japan. 
okay? There are two major things that we need to consider whenever we're trying to figure out what tense this is. First of all, have and has as an auxiliary and been as a past participle. That means that this tense is present perfect, okay? So, if we want to report present perfect, we should turn that sentence into a past perfect tense, okay? And how are we going to do the report? Very simple. Alice, I have never been to Japan. Mental question. Well, what did Alice say? Well, Alice said that she had never been, okay? So, the singular um, change that you can actually uh, see here is that had is the auxiliary of the past perfect and that's it's the only thing that we're going to change in that sentence. Ali said that she had never been to Japan, all right? There's another example here. Rose, my mother will pick me up at the airport. In here we have another tense that is very uh, easy to spot, as you can see. When we have the auxiliary will, that means that it's a future statement, okay? And the future statement, it's going to be uh, very simple to uh, do the report because the only thing that we're going to change is that specific auxiliary. My mother will pick me up at the airport, Rose said. So, what did she say? Well, Rose said that. Her mother, because we're talking about Rose, and this is a possessive adjective, Rose said that her mother would, okay, so the major change here would be that will is going to change into would. Rose said that her mother would pick her up, because we're talking about Rose, at the end. So remember, whenever you're reporting, the most important thing is to know what tense it is so you can do a very successful report.